Hey everybody, it's Wilbits, and hey, we're back in the office from the first game! Nice to get to reuse something. Uh, Ace Attorney Investigations, Gekuten Kinji 2! Mr. Edgeworth, what happened yesterday? Those two people, the attitude was just unforgivable! Mr. Edgeworth, I'm here to clean up the mess you made! <laughs> The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee has decreed that you will be taken off this case! And Sebastian has been appointed to take over the case. That is all. Judge Courtney and Mrs. Best, they were certainly ruthless. But what I'm more concerned about is... Just what is the PIC thinking? I'm worried about what they will do from here on. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth! Are you listening to me? Yes, I'm listening. You're not going to give up on this case, are you? No, I don't plan on backing down. Not with the current situation, as it is. If I were to silently stand by, that would only validate their claims. But I no longer have investigation rights. What should I do now? Just sit around and be bored? Oh! The do sex machina phone! Let's check it out! Was this Detective Gumshoe? Uh, bad news, sir! I heard something down at the precinct. It sounds like they've already arrested a suspect in yesterday's case! What? Who is it? I don't know yet, sir. But if we go down to the detention center, we can ask. Let's get going! Mr. Edgeworth! Even if I can't investigate, meeting with the suspect should not be an issue. Alright, we're heading over to the de detention center right now. I'll also head over on the double, sir. Detective, won't that interfere with your job? I gotta investigate the scene of the crime anyway, so it should be okay, sir. Alright, well, we'll meet up with you there. Roger, sir. Let's go, Kay. Okay! All right, back at the super cool, luxurious, extra large detention center. He's not coming, is he? This is familiar. He's not. He's happening all over again, getting the deja vu. Don't joke about that. No way, I mean it. It's not happening. Yes, it's happening. All right. There's just someone here to talk to you. Hmm. That sounds like a pretty screechy voice, huh? No way, no way, no way! Don't be so stubborn. But I press you like crazy scary or something? Always giving you death glare! Uh, pardon me, but would you happen to be the suspect? Uh, I knew it! <clears throat> okay, why does this man seem so distraught? Well, because you're, uh, you. That doesn't help me at all. Hello, Mr. Suspect. Would you mind talking to us for a little bit? Wh who are you? I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. Well, it's just a part-time job. I'm just taking a vacation from my real job, which is being a thief, which I probably shouldn't keep telling people like I just did. I don't remember hiring you. This is Mr. Edgeworth. He's a prosecutor, but he's not as scary as he looks, so it's okay. <laughs> How rude. Re really? Really, really? Really. Eek! Anyway, can you tell us your name, Mr. Suspect? Yeah, uh, uh I'm Simon Keys. Nice to meet you, Simon. You can just call me Kay. Kay? I am Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. I would appreciate a word with you. Please, please, it's for your own good, Simon. Really? Finally, it looks like we'll be able to get something out of him, thanks to Kay. You know... First, I'd like you to tell me a little about yourself. 
running away. Not dead. I couldn't do that. Impossible. I'm not worthy. There's nothing interesting about me. Your occupation? No way. Not that. No, it's no big deal. Not honest. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm just a regular employee. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. About the victim, Knightley. I don't think he's going to talk to me about this. Okay. Simon, did you know Mr. Knightley from somewhere? Knightley, he, yeah, I did. Yeah, he was uh, a friend. Yeah. A friend. So do you know that Knightley was arrested? Did you know that uh, Mr. Knightley was arrested? Yeah, I, I came here to meet him. So he visited the detention center too. When was that? When did you visit him here? It was two days, two days ago in the afternoon. Yeah, I received a call from the police, so I came over right away. From the police? How'd you get a call from the police? It was a quest from Knightley. He had a message for me. A message? Yeah, he wanted me to bring him his pocket-sized chessboard. So I retrieved it from his house and came here to give it to him. Did he say chessboard? What's that? Did you say chessboard? I like how we have this weird, like, like, translated to not scary. Is Gay stealing my thoughts? No, Mr. Edgeworth. He's just written on your face. Ah! <laughs> 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 I was just guessing from your facial expressions. See, I can be a useful assistant, right? <laughs> So do you know what we need to do next? You bet! We gotta show that to Simon, right? Correct. Let's present it and see how he reacts. Okay. The chessboard. Do you organize this chessboard? Ah, uh, that's Nightly's. Just as I thought. This was found in Mr. Nightly's corpse. He always carried a chessboard with him. It's just like him to have one until his last breath. It sounds like you two were really close, Simon. Yeah, we were best friends. At least, I thought we were. M maybe I was wrong. Huh? Because I never imagined he would murder someone. Having someone close to you, not to be a murderer. Reality can be so cruel. Not something most people can easily accept. I never imagined we would part ways like this. <laughs> Mr. Edward, something's definitely strange here. There's no way Simon could have killed Mr. Knightley. Indeed, I certainly can't see a motive at all. However, the fact remains that he was the one who was arrested on that charge. Just what was the justification for doing so? Why, why are you arrested? If, if you know. So, why were you arrested? Hmm, I guess he still would respond to me. Well, I don't know. Looks like he's finally warming up to you. Hmm, that's a great help. This morning, a police officer barged into my house. And before I knew it, he had brought me here. Was there a prosecutor accompanying him at the time? A prosecutor called D. Um, Best or something was there too. So it was that rookie prosecutor. Then I guess the police haven't dragged you into the questioning yet, huh? Uh, are you the police going to interrogate me? Yup, that's right. Because you're the suspect. No way, 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 no way. <laughs> are detectives like crazy abusive or something? <laughs> Always bossing around with their big bodies. Uh, Detective Gumshoe is on the scene. I'm the biggest guy in the room. I'm gonna come in here and buzz everybody around. Did I come to bedtime? <laughs> I knew it! Please don't beat me with your dick arms. I can't take it anymore. Someone call the police. Uh, I kinda, I kinda am the police. Brutality time. Boop, 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 boop. What's got into him, sir? Well, it's because you're you, detective. Huh? 
I don't get it, sir. I know Tamil has to be innocent, Mr. Edgeworth. Can we do something? Simon Keys. Yes? You are Mr. Knightley's best friend. You only just met with him two days ago. You say you didn't kill him. Are you certain about this? Yes, I am. I wouldn't harm a fly. I see. Well, that's enough for me. I shall offer my assistance in proving your innocence. What's the point in helping little old me? It's all just for you. In this case, I have a personal stake in it as well. That's right! We gotta get back at those two from yesterday! Yeah, I'm fired up, sir! I'm ready to go! I don't have any investigation rights at the moment. Since I won't be able to obtain information myself, your role is most vital. I'm sure we can rely on you to fill in any holes in the information we have. Help us help you. That's all I ask. Ah, I just had an idea. I thought of something. It's over. Uh, uh, I did it. Why don't you just borrow a defense attorney's badge, sir? Come on. There's no way Mr. Edgewood could do that. This isn't the time to be joking around. You gotta go pass a test and get a get past the bar exam. But but I wasn't joking. Helping the suspect is a defense attorney's job, pal. Gee, don't worry about that. It doesn't matter what Mr. Edgeworth's job is. All we gotta do is find the real murderer. So let's get moving. Okay, pal. Um, I'm sure you understand, but if the investigation results prove that you are the murderer, no hard feelings, but... I will show no mercy. <laughs> but you don't need to be scared. I believe in your story. At least for now. All you need to do is believe in us. And wait patiently. There's nothing to fear. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off. Yeah, I don't know why we don't just call Phoenix. That would be very convenient. But we keep dancing around his existence in this, so... I guess we'll see. So, we're all fired up and ready to go. But we still can't enter the part of the prison where the murder occurred. And if you can't investigate, the only thing you can do now is defend him in court, sir. How are we supposed to do that? We can't. Legally. Like, we can't do it. Huh? If it isn't Prize Gear Edgeworth and his merry gang, <laughs> what are you guys doing here, huh? Uh, you come here to harass Mr. Edgeworth again, pal. <laughs> what are you talking about, big guy? Uncle Rage is here to do his job. Your job? Oh yeah, you're a defense attorney, right? Okay, <laughs> you're as beautiful as ever. Beautiful? Beautiful? No. I might not look like it, but your Uncle Ray's a hot shot defense attorney. I make the big, big bucks. Lots of ladies want to spend time with me, is what I keep telling them. I'm here to meet with the new client today. What was his name again? Shy Monkeys or something. What? You mean Simon Keys? That's it! Okay, looks like you know the deal. Thank you, right? Cool. You wanna be my assistant? You wanna be my personal assistant? Mr. Edgeworth, he's the defense attorney! I thought as much. I guess we have no choice but to resort to that method. In the past, whenever I had to investigate cases I was not placed in charge of, I was able to gain access by becoming a subordinate to whomever was in charge. Not my preferred option, but it's the only one I have now. Mr. Shields, if I may ask. Hold it! <laughs> by the way, I don't take on sidekicks. Alright, unless they're cute girls. Would you not? I refuse to take on male assistants who lack charm. Excuse me, he's wearing charm right around his neck. Especially someone who is like a son to Von Karma. <laughs> Mr. Shields, as I thought, he won't forgive me so easily. Mr. Shields, I understand that you cannot forgive me for what I've done. I am also fully aware of your hatred towards those involved with Von Karma. I don't know if you'll believe me, but I 
I'm no longer the same as I was back then. Back when I idolized Rom Com. Yeah, pal. Mr. Edgeworth is a changed man. He saw three ghosts, they scared the crap out of him, and then he gave a bunch of money to a kid to buy a turkey. It's a really great story. Sure. He may have been a cruel, inhuman prosecutor in the past. But now, he's completely different, pal. You put it that bluntly, it kind of hurts. Makes me sad. That's right! Mr. Edgeworth's not a bad guy anymore! I wouldn't even call him a prosecutor. He's more like, uh, uh, a hero. Yeah, a prosecutor hero. He even helped me out in that big case last month. A hero? Huh, that's some pretty big talk right there, Missy. Woohoo! He's a magnificent hero, although he'd be no match for a great thief like me! Mr. Shields, don't the actions of the PIC appear strange? to you. I believe there may be something else hidden behind this case. I can't afford to quit at this juncture. Please let me help you with the investigation. I am begging you. <sighs> I never expect you to grovel like this. It sure looks like you changed all right. And I'm kind of interested in the cause of all this. You're interested? In what changed me? If I had to say, it would probably be the courtroom itself. All the experiences I've had and all the people I've met inside the courtroom. And perhaps reuniting with my old friends. <laughs> I never expected you, of all people, to change. Who would have thought that you'd lay open your heart like that? I'm sure that man would be surprised as well. <laughs> Guess I can't turn you away. It may be long overdue, but allow me to properly reintroduce myself. If you would be so kind as to read this. Edgeworth Law Offices, Raymond Shields, Head Attorney. E Edgeworth? Mr. Shields was an assistant to my deceased father, Gregory Edgeworth. Really? Your father was a defense attorney? And his name was Gregory? Greg Greg? Daddy Greg? Papa Greg? So that means that man Mr. Shields talked about is... Correct, my cute little K. Prosecutor Edgeworth's old man. I never changed the name of the firm. It's my way of showing my appreciation for his help. Prosecutor Edgeworth. No, wait. Miles, Uncle Ray doesn't fully trust you just yet. It may have been temporary, but the fact remains, you were once a disciple of Von Karma. You say that you changed, but you need to prove it to me with your actions. <laughs> Even your old man would have wanted it this way. Yes, I understand. All right, I'm getting tired of all this stuffy talk, so let's give it a rest and move on. For now, I'll make you my temporary assistant. How does that sound? I'm sorry to trouble you. But this outcome is kind of moving, yeah? <laughs> the prodigal son returning to work in his late father's law firm. What about me? What about me? Huh? Do I get to work too? Do I get to be in a thing? Of course, you can help too, okay? Alright, thanks a lot, Mr. Shields. I mean, boss. Now then, let's get right to work. Let's see, first off... What do you think we should do, Miles? That's right, I had some unfinished business yesterday. <laughs> so, it wasn't the victim. But rather, it was the first person to discover the body who screamed. Who was the first person to discover the body? Why don't we find them and listen to what they have to say? Yeah, that's it! Uncle Ray thinks so, too. <laughs> um, beat as always. Okay, with that decided, let's hurry up and grill him! Um, uh, sir, what am I supposed to do? Can I have things to do, too? Detectives can't help defense attorneys. Hmm, I can't just leave him be. Detective, I will give you a special assignment. You can go get his coffees. 
I want you to assist Mr. DePest in his investigation and follow his orders. And then, if you discover anything useful, maybe you could share it with us. Secretly. Exactly. This is a job that only you can do. Can we count on you? Uh, yes, sir! Leave it to me! I'm really good at leaking investigation reports to defense attorneys. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Oh. Probably shouldn't be so proud of that, huh? Normally that would be a problem for me, but it may come in handy this time. Alright, let's get moving, shall we? Time to go to jail. Little Sebastian! Okay, I'm not gonna... I won't do that every time the horse shows up. Maybe I won't do that. Now then, uh, where's the person who first discovered the body? So now all we can do is ask her out. Hold her right there! Who is this woman? Um, excuse me, but... Oh, you're simply irresistible. Huh? Do you mean me? Do you... Do you mean me? <laughs> huh. Very nice, very nice indeed. What an elegant mustache. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mademoiselle. A defense attorney, a shield at your service. How about we exchange greetings with a hug? <laughs> but of course. Ooh, that was a little more than a hug. A grace, uh, lips. <laughs> Proper greeting should begin with a hug and a kiss. Too much! Bad touch! Bad touch! I didn't I wasn't looking for Is she Russian? I can do some Russian. Thanks for the thanks for the hip. It's almost like it was stolen from him. Yes, a remarkable feat of quickness that would put a great thief to shame. I feel that close contact is very important. This goes for my family here in my home as well. Quite a splendid way of thinking there. <laughs> yeah, it's great that I interacted with a girl. I sure do like to do that and have always wanted to. And now that it's happening, I'm not at all freaking out about things. Thank you for, for things. I'm the warden, Patricia Roland. But please, just call me Patty. The warden? So she's in charge of the prison and detention center. Nice to meet you. I'm Miles Edgeworth. I'm a prosecu- I mean, I'm Mr. Shield's assistant. He's a defense attorney and so am I, kind of, yes. Pardon me for asking, but were you here in the prison yesterday? But of course, yesterday was a day that I wouldn't have missed for the world. Wouldn't have missed for the world? Did you have some kind of important meeting? Or oh, even more, a despised meetings? It was the animal show, of course! Eee, the animal show is great! A wonderful spectacle featuring animals dancing and flying through the air. I always see it along with everyone else in our home. We're one big happy family. We beat a special stage in the courtyard just for this performance. A performance for the prisoners' enjoyment. Yesterday, Elbert mentioned some kind of recreation. I suppose the animal show was what he was referring to. When did the show take place? It started at 8 a.m. and ended around 10 a.m. That's exactly when the body was discovered. So whoever saw the show would probably have an alibi. Hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I have a business to attend to. Please take your time and have a look around our home. 